Hello everyone, my name's Robert Ferguson and I'm a wildlife photographer, blogger and conservationist here in Hong Kong. And I have a simple question about what on earth is going wrong with Lions Nature Education Centre here in Sai Kung. We've seen over the last two to three years massive destruction of habitat and biodiversity in this once glorious education centre. Where have all the animals gone, really? Uh, I'm looking at a 30 to 90% decline in the amount of animals I'm seeing in the park. And it begs the bigger question, what are the objectives and what is the oversight and who reviews the success and the failure of the uh, public park management system? Uh, it's not a budget issue, it's a management issue. And let's look at the photos, let them tell the story. Here's the Butterfly Valley, lush and green, Three years ago now, very, very few flowers at all, just an arid desert. The lotus pond, the beautiful iconic lotus pond is now the pond with no lotuses because they tore them all out about two and a half, three years ago. It's been lying. This other picture on the right was taken at the end of March. The arboretum has been closed for almost four years. The Nanyi purpose-built dragonfly pond is now dried and stagnant over the last three years. All the bottom soil has been scorched, all the nymphs, naiads and other water creatures have been eradicated. And this is true for all the ponds in the park. Look at this one, the uh, overflowing with lilies outside the uh, visitor center, but across all of the ponds, we've seen them clean, scrubbed and left empty. And I was told, on a site visit with, uh, with the park management that the ponds are ornamental and we do not need wildlife in them. Same with the insect house. The, this was once swarming with butterflies. You know what it's like when you walk into these places and you just sort of, it's just a wonderful experience for, for people and particularly children. But I was told since all the caterpillars and uh, butterflies have died from lack of care over the last couple of years, we don't need butterflies in this uh, net house because we have the plants and the plastic signs to continue the education about the butterfly life cycle. And vines, the habitat management, the vines have all been torn off these hedgerows. They've been replanted because of follow up, but they haven't been watered. There's no care. The grass has been strimmed back. There's so many examples, just the final one, the trellis, there's a wonderful sign on the trellis that says picking is prohibited. <laughs> there's nothing to pick anymore. Three years ago this was covered in fruit, the same with the passion fruit along the path there, dead. So rewinding a little bit, this isn't a basketball court with a few trees in the corner. This is not a typical urban park. This park was set up with an aim to educate people about the concepts of environmental protection. And again, from the website, the center promotes nature education, field studies, and eco-tours for schools, organizations, and the public. So it should be held up to best practices in environmental management. As I mentioned before, when it was set up, the Butterfly Valley, the Net House, the Lotus Pond, and the unique purpose-built pair of dragonfly ponds were set up for exactly this purpose and as I've just shown you they're all destroyed and that's the problem in a nutshell. I've had lots of to's and fro's emails and a site visit with park management since October 2020 and they have made some progress they have been doing some things but why am I doing this video? It's because it's clear to me that the park management still do not have the skill they do not make it their priority and they certainly don't have the care to manage the wild habitats. Very quickly, I mean, I, I looked at getting some data for this with the help of an app called iNaturalist and uh, some technical support from WWF. I went down to the park with 30 other people over about three days and we recorded as many species and as many numbers of those species as we could. And we found about 30% of what we would have expected to find from the 35 common species that we were looking for. That's just a devastating decline. And the fact that we could only find four dragonflies, two species, over those three days is, is, is 
that's an indicator species. That, that's just wrong. Nature and wildlife is important in urban parks. That shouldn't be a question mark. Under the government's biodiversity strategy action plan, conservation of biodiversity is important to the sustainable development of the city. And everyone agrees that the key threat to nature is habitat degradation. So why is this happening in a nature education center? And why am I having to be called on to point this out and try and provide some solutions? So these are all, I have lots and lots of emails and comments, these four slides, basically detail, um, uh, uh, or have details of everything that I've been following up on uh, since October. But the actions, the two main actions that I'm looking at is that the current work is unnecessarily destroying habitat and killing wildlife for years to come. Please, no more habitat destruction. Around the ponds, why have all the herbaceous borders, why have all the plants been ripped out? At the Lotus Pond, the picture on the right there, they've completely cleared all the hibiscus bushes and the wonderful flowers and everything else to lay bare the concrete. What's the purpose for that? Please, can we have some oversight from WWF or Kaduri or uh, even the Wetland Park, someone to give some oversight to help the management there understand the process of renovation and management. And the other thing is provide suitable care for the non-farm areas. The farm area has two or three people walking around there the whole time. They've got a sprinkler system, they've got water all over the ground. This has been an incredible drought over the last six to seven months. Nothing else has been watered. Those vines that were replanted haven't been watered. The trellis area, the butterfly area, the, the ponds that filled in to provide butterfly food are filled with weeds and haven't been watered. So really what I'm asking for there is some care for the non-farm areas. These are nine other specific actions that I'll put into the comments section below. And of course what you can do is follow up with some emails to, to the senior management of the parks and uh, please share this with people, in particular district councillors, green groups maybe you're a member of, and your school. If your school is being taken there for ed nature education, then perhaps you should know that they have best practices in place and that the kids aren't going to be shown just plastic signs. If you have any other comments or suggestions, please do let me know. Thank you.